His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 63 of the year 2023, restructuring the Sunni and Jafari Endowment Councils. Article 1, the Sunni Endowment Council shall be restructured as follows. Sheikh Dr. Rashid bin Muhammad Al Hajri as chairman and the following as members. Ahmed bin Mbarak Al Naimi, Abdul Aziz Abdullah Al Musa, Yusuf Al Salah Al Adin, Dr. Abdullah Yusuf Talib, Arif Ahmed Hijris. Khalil Muhammad Abu Hajji, Sheikh Dr. Abdul Aziz bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, Usama Abdullah Al Khaja, Abdul Razak Abdul Khaliq Abdullah Hassan, Muhammad bin Saeed Al Mansouri. Article 2 The Jafari Endowments Council shall be restructured under as following Yusuf Al Salih Al Salih, Chairman and following as members Riyadh Abdul Wahid Al Ariyad, Abdul Jalil Ibrahim Habib Al Traif. عبد المجيد الشيخ منصور الستري محمود الناصر ماجد التبلاني فيصل منصور الوان دكتور عبد الله أحمد منصور عبد الحسين محمد علي الضيف أحمد صالح النعيمي شفيق خلف علي منصور الشرقي ماهر علوي السيد خلف محفوظ The term of their membership in both councils is four years as of the date of issuance of this order His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 117 of the year 2023 regulating the joint financial services based on the proposal of the Civil Service Bureau and the Ministry of Finance and National Economy. The Council of Representatives held its weekly session presided over by its Speaker Ahmed Lim The session discussed the letter received from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister regarding a draft law on approving the agreement between Bahrain and the GCC Council on the headquarters, the headquarters of the Communications Technical Office in Bahrain, and approved referring it to the specialized committees. The session also discussed and approved the recommendations of the final report of the Parliamentary Investigation Committee on the low standard of living for citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa delegated the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to inaugurate the Real Estate Data Bank platform Aqari Data Bank which is among the e-services launched by the Real Estate Regulatory Authority RIRA in the presence of ministers, officials and heads of real estate development companies. On the occasion the Deputy Premier said that the launch of the Aqari Data Bank which is an integrated platform that provides real estate dealers with all necessary information about the sector and body the kingdom's interest in developing systems as well as adopting modern technologies and artificial intelligence commensurating with the goals of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah noted that the Haqari platform is an innovative service that reflects the foundations of the good governance on which the government work is based as it aims to strengthen integration among government agencies and enhancing strategic planning. The Deputy Premier stressed the need to continue developing the real estate sector to ensure that it always meets the standards of the best international practices. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah paid tribute to RIRA's board of directors and executive management, as well as those in charge of the Aqari platform for their efforts to complete the project, wishing the real estate sector's affiliates further success in enhancing the kingdom's status as an attractive and secure environment for real estate investment. For his part, the president of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, SLRB, expressed his thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for supporting the launch ceremony of the Aqari dat data bank platform and to Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah for attending the event on behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He affirmed that Bahrain is a leader in using advanced technology to deliver the best government in line with the visions of His Majesty the King and the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He asserted that the first of its kind platform was created to meet the needs of customers in uh, this sector and provide them with information with complete transparency and accuracy in a way that improves the success rates of the real estate projects. The CEO of RIRA, Sheikh Mohammed Ahmed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa noted that the Aqari platform provides a unique real estate experience that reflects the advanced level reached by the sector thanks to His Majesty the King's visions.
achieving the goals of the National Plan for the Real Estate Sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain 2021-2024 to towards the sustainable real estate sector and a positive booster for economic sectors, the Real Estate Data Bank platform was announced as part of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority's electronic services and its efforts in the digital transformation process. The platform provides innovative and modern services, which is based on governance. This platform is also considered one of the most important and reliable central national projects that have employed artificial intelligence and modern real estate technology by providing all real estate information, including building permits, urban planning classifications, and other services. The announcement of this platform will give the market a major boost and make it easier for investors and real estate professionals to make investment decisions regarding the most in-demand and effective properties in the market, according to clear mechanisms and accurate information with complete transparency and accuracy, so that the Kingdom of Bahrain's real estate market continues to be in line with the best international practices. The Urban Planning and Development Authority, UPDA CEO, Engineer Ahmed Abdelaziz Al Khayyat, announced the approval of six new detailed plans within the fourth installment of his project to update documents for detailed plans. Al Khayyat called on all real estate owners to take the necessary measures within 90 days from the announcement to complete the procedures for updating their property documents, which fall within the detailed plans announced. He said that, that the procedures can be completed either by visiting the UPDA Customer Service Center or via the authority's email or planning platform. The Labor Market Regulatory Authority, LMRA, conducted 665 campaigns and inspection visits during the past week. The authority noted that these campaigns resulted in the arrest of 17 exerted workers for violating the provisions of LMRA and residence law, while the number of deportees reached 122 violators. The authority confirmed the implementation of 654 inspection visits to various commercial stores and all governance, in addition to 11 joint inspection campaigns, including six campaigns in the capital government, two campaigns in Muharraq government, one campaign in northern government, and two campaigns in the Southern Government. Merchants and participants in the 34th edition of the Autumn Fair this year affirmed that the fair proves the success of the exhibitions held in Bahrain. Over 557 exhibitors from 16 countries are participating in the fair over the course of nine days to present various options and meet the tastes and needs of all shoppers. Participants from various countries were keen to participate in the fair for its reputation and the advertising platform and space it provides to display goods and learn about consumers' tastes. The Heritage Village Festival, which is held by the Ministry of Information in conjunction with National Holidays, is an important touristic destination for various age groups. The Heritage Village offers visitors an experience rich in detail of the Bahraini heritage. It sheds light on many details and information related to the ancient past, and it has become a vital and important tool in promoting the concepts of the past to the new generation. To mark the national celebrations, the Interior Ministry organized a parade in the capital government. The event aimed to promote community partnership and national values. The parade, with the participation of various directors, started from Bab al Bahrain to the police fort. The capital governor, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman al Khalifa, and citizens and residents attended.
In our international news, the Kingdom of Bahrain welcomed the statement by the, or the, in the not local news, the Special Envoy of the UN Secretary General to Yemen, Hans Grundberg, regarding reaching a, a roadmap to support the peace process in the Republic of Yemen. The Kingdom hopes that the Yemeni parties will sign the agreement and expedite its implementation to reach a comprehensive and sustainable peace in the Yemeni territories. In a statement, the Foreign Affairs Ministry renewed Bahrain's appreciation for the efforts of the United Nations, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Sultanate of Oman valuing their vital role in urging the Yemeni parties to de-escalate in order to reach a lasting political solution under the auspices of the United Nations in a way that meets the aspirations of the Yemeni people.